Hello everyone. So today in this video we are going to solve a question of lead code that is minimum average difference. This is 2256 question on lead code and this comes under medium category. Alright, so let's start with the problem statement. You are given a zero index integer renums of length n. The average difference of the index i is the absolute difference between the average of first i plus 1 elements and the average of last n minus i minus 1 elements. So basically what we need to do is we need to find the absolute difference between the average of left side of the current element and the right side of the current element. All right. And we need to include the current element in the left side. Okay. So let's quickly understand with an example. So let's say in the first example we have 253953. So if we take first index, so for the first index, the average of this left side, including the current index is 2 divided by 1, that is 2. And for the right side, the average is like the addition of 5, 3, 9, 5 and 3 and divided by 5. So average is 5. So the absolute difference of all the values is 3. Similarly, we can calculate for each index like for second index the average is 5 plus 2 divided by 2 that is 3 that is 3.5 so when we rounded off it so this will be 3 and the right side average is 5 so the absolute difference between both of the values is 2 so similarly we will be calculating for each index and at the end we need to return the index of minimum value all right let's say in this example the minimum value is 0 so the index which we need to return here is 3 all right we are just checking the 0th index like we are taking the 0th index integer array all right so the basic intuition behind this problem is that we need to find the postfix and prefix sum of this array so that we can easily calculate and optimize the solution because if we check like the brute force approach is to choose the element and calculate the rightmost and leftmost part accordingly so it will take around n to the power 2 that is n squared time complexity so to reduce that time complexity we can use a prefix and postfix sum all right so let's quickly see this example and how can we use in this example okay so let's say we are taking this example so let me write here okay so this is the example and when we do prefix sum and when we do postfix sum okay and let's write here index index okay so let me write here 0 1 2 3 4 5 we have 1 0 1 2 3 4 5 5 indexes all right so let's quickly start with a prefix sum so prefix sum is 2 then 5 plus 2 is 7 7 plus 3 is 10 10 10 plus 9 is 19 yeah so 19 and 19 plus 5 is 24 24 plus 3 is 27 okay i hope you are able to understand the prefix sum now right so let's quickly calculate the postfix sum so in this starting from the end so 3 then we have 3 plus 5 is 8 then we have 8 plus 9 17 then we have 17 plus 3 that is 20 okay then we have 20 plus 5 25 then we have 27 here okay i hope you are able to understand the postfix and prefix sum and how we have calculated this okay so the next step is that we need to find the average difference of each index all right so let's quickly make a array so let's name it minimum average difference so let me write minimum average difference so when we calculate the minimum average difference so what we need to do is we need to check left side and right side so left side of zeroth index is 2 and right side sum is 25 so when we take average of this so 2 divided by 1 is 2 minus 25 25 is basically the n minus i minus 1th index here 
Okay, so n minus i minus 1 is index is 25 divided by 5. So this is the fifth index. So what we will do, we will just minus by 5 and the absolute value of this is 3. Okay, I hope you are able to understand this, how we calculated this. So what we are doing, we are just basically using a formula that is prefix of i divided by i plus 1 and it is written here i plus 1 and for post fix what we are doing we are using post i plus 1 divided by n minus i minus 1 okay and we are taking the absolute difference of both of this okay so this is the one approach which we can do in this question but in this approach we are using we go of n space so to reduce the space complexity what we can do rather than using these arrays we can first calculate the prefix sum and in the each iteration we can calculate the postfix sum so it will take around constant space complexity okay so let's quickly code the solution of constant time complexity okay so then we will understand by coding so let's quickly start let's take an integer which will be storing the minimum value of the absolute differences so let's uh, initialize it with int temp is equal to int max this will be storing the minimum value that's why we have initialized this variable with the maximum value okay now let's take integer n is equal to nums dot size this will be storing the size of given array now let's take two integers ll post is equal to 0 and ll pre is equal to 0 these two variables will be storing the prefix and postfix sum now let's run a for loop to calculate the postfix sum first so for auto x nums post plus equal to x okay now let's run a for loop to check for each index so let's quickly initialize i is equal to 0 i should be less than nums dot size and i plus plus all right now what we will do first we will update the prefix sum with the current value so prefix nums i and post is minus equal to nums of i we have just updated the prefix sum and postfix sum according to our current variable all right now what we will do we will take two integer values int a is equal to this will be checking the average or uh, this will be checking basically the first element average of first element okay so int pre divided by i plus one and int b that will be equal to post divided by n minus i minus 1 okay n minus i minus 1 now this value might be less than 0 and or we can say it might be 0 so this will give an error so what we will do we will first check if so let's check whether i is equal equal to nums dot size minus 1 or i will write n minus 1 if this is true then what we will do we will just turn 0 from here okay because what will happen when like in this case for the last index when we calculate for 3 so there is no index for the right side as it is given here 27 by 6 27 by 27 is basically the sum of whole array and divided by 6 minus 0 0 because there is no elements on the right side all right so we will be just taking 0 from here okay now let's check if abs of a minus b if the absolute difference is less than the temporary variable which we have stored here okay this will be basically calculating the minimum value so if absolute difference of a minus b is less than temporary so what we will do we will just update temporary value with abs of a minus b and let's update the index so let's take a variable in answer is equal to 0 so this will be storing the index so answer will be equal to i i hope this is clear to you at the end just return answer from here i hope it should work fine let's just run it 
okay let's take let's declare a ln here this is basically long long okay yeah so let's run it yeah it's working fine let's just submit it all right so let's calculate the time and space complexity of the solution so the time complexity of the solution is because of n because we are traversing through all the n elements and the space complexity of the solution is because of 1 because we are storing constant spaces here all right so i hope the approach and solution is clear to you if you still have any doubt in this question feel free to comment it down please like this video and subscribe to our channel thank you